Hey everybody, this is Sean from Gen4 Technology, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on how to initially download and set up the G4 FLX VMS phone or tablet application. There are two different locations where you can find this application, the first being Google Play, second being the Apple App Store. So depending on what phone you have, let's go ahead and navigate to either of those. Next, you're going to input g4-flx-vms within the search bar and then select the search icon. This will prompt up multiple application options. The first in most cases will be the actual G4FLX VMS application. Go ahead and select the application and download and install it. Once installed, we're going to go ahead and select the option labeled open. This leads us to part two of the video in which we will demonstrate how you can add your Flux device to the application and then review your live video feed. First step in doing so is going to be to tap the menu icon located in the top left corner of the application. Once opened, you'll find multiple options, one being server list. Let's go ahead and select that option. Within the server list section, you will find all of your added devices. To add a new device, go ahead and select the plus sign in the top right corner. This will prompt the add device section. Here you will fill in each field with the corresponding information matching your Flux device. The first field in this section is going to be your Flux device's IP slash domain. If you are local, you will input the Flux device's local IP address. If you are remote, you will input the public IP address of the network where your device is hooked up to. You will then assign your device a nickname, which can be any name of your choosing and does not have to correspond with anything on your actual Flux device. Lastly, we are going to fill in the username and password fields. Here you will fill in the same exact username and password you use on your Flux device when local. Once all fields are filled in as required, go ahead and select the option labeled Save. This will prompt you back to the server list section where you will wait until the Wi-Fi icon turns green and then you can select the play icon to review your live video feed. Once in live view, if you'd like to review playback, simply select the grid box of the camera you'd like to review and then select the video reel icon. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment with any videos you'd like to see in the future. Take it easy and see you next time.